Hello, this is the headlining news across the East African region from Uganda. A Ugandan businessman has denied registering People Power as a name for his non government organization. People Power is the rallying call used by youthful activists who agitate for political change, led by musician turned legislator Robert Chagulangi, better known as Bobby Wine. Social media has been awash with jokes and some insulting the businessman. News in Kenya, the Nairobi government starts holding public hearings ahead of the demolition of all buildings in the capital city. The public engagement started on Tuesday with the intention of making the implementation of the Nairobi Renewal Project, which will result into the provision of thousands of low-cost houses possible. Crossing over to Tanzania, it has been established that three of the ten Tanzanian children who are brutally murdered in Njobe region belong to one family. The citizen reports that the three aged 11, 8 and 5 years were kidnapped on January 20th while they were playing outside their parents' house. The ten children's bodies were mutilated with their genitals and respiratory organs taken by the killers, apparently for witchcraft purposes. News in Rwanda. It is all smiles for the Rwandan government as the New DR Congo government extradites to high profile anti government rebels back to Kigali, where they will face treason charges. But the extradition is the result of judicial proceedings that have been going on and what President Chisekedi's government has done to implement a judicial decision. One of the extradited men is Phils Bazeo, Phils Lafouge, the spokesperson of the Democratic Liberation Forces of Rwanda. From Burundi, Burundi's disenchantment with Rwanda will feature prominently at the East African Community Summit this weekend. A citizen reporter in Arusha says organizers have confirmed that when the six heads of state start their meeting on Friday, the serious complaints Burundi has been raising, which include serious accusations against Rwanda, will be discussed. But Rwanda is also leveling similarly serious allegations against Burundi and another unnamed East African country for attempting to destabilize the government in Kigali. Finally, from Southeast Sudan, at least 19,000 South Sudan children are still being held captive as conscript child soldiers by different militias, even as the peace agreement signed last year is holding. The UN Special Representative for Southeast Sudan, David Shara, says the different factions who are party to the peace agreement are actually continuing to recruit the children to show up their strength as bargaining tools in the country's power. Games. And that was the headlining news across the East African region.